what is up y'all i'm summer let's talk photography so my plan is to post videos every tuesday but for the last couple of weeks Things have come up. I am still at this moment waiting for my prints to come back from the lab and they have not. Um, last week I went out and did some shooting with my baby Rolly Flex. Um, I'm really excited about the shots I took that day. Fingers crossed that they come out correctly. They were color. Uh, I'm hoping I metered correctly that I did all the things I should have done well um and i don't know i'm still waiting for them to come back from the lab it's taking longer than usual i'm not sure if that's because um they're just really busy or it's because it was 127 format film and they're used to processing 35 millimeter 120 and they're having issues figuring out how to scan 127. I haven't heard from them. This is speculation. I don't know. But while we wait, I decided to just make a video with me chatting with you. So I love photography. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be producing content and putting it out in the world. Um, I also love community. That's the other half of this equation, why I'm putting content out. There's lots of other folks that are creating content, um, lots of other folks, black folks, brown folks that are producing photography related content. Um, if you're looking for more outlets for folks that look like you for representation within this particular area, please check out my video, Where Are All the Black Photographers? Um, I'll put a link above wherever it goes uh, so you could check out that video. Uh, today I just decided to chat a bit with you about why I make photos. Um, I've been shooting for quite a long time. My fascination with photography came at an early age, not because my family had cameras or I grew up with cameras. I actually didn't. Um, we didn't have any cameras in our house growing up. Um, and over the course of my life, especially my younger life, um, there are very few photos of me, very few um, archived images of my life with my parents because we were poor uh, and we didn't have a lot of resources to um, document those types of things. So the few photos I do have of myself, I, I really cherish them. Um, so that's not where it comes from and that's not what I mean by I've been fascinated by photography since an early age. The first time I ever saw a camera that was cool, um, my best friend at the time, I was maybe like eight, my best friend won a professional photography camera from like a magazine contest. Um, and neither one of us had ever seen anything like that before. And I was really intrigued by this object, this device that almost looked alien to me. I had never seen anything like it. Um, and that was my first glimpse into uh, photography, my first glimpse into a camera. Um, but from that point, I never really got a chance to have contact with photography, honestly, until college. And when I went away to college, I took my first photo class. I bought my cam my first camera, which was this guy, actually. So it no longer works. The shutter sticks. Um, repair shops tell me it can't be fixed. But this was my very first camera ever, the Minolta XG1. Um, and I learned everything there is to learn or everything I could learn at that time on this camera. Um, I fell in love with analog processes. I fell in love with the darkroom, um, with waiting to see your image materialize on paper as it floated in the developer. I, I was hooked. I like hook, line, and sinker. I was hooked into photography. And as I scroll through um, on a typical day, looking at the YouTube videos available. A lot of them revolve around content. Honestly, that's not very interesting to me. 
See, I consider myself to be a conceptual photographer and what that means is that the work that I create has an idea behind it. There is a premeditated, a pre-planned reason why I'm structuring the image that I'm structuring and it's all because I'm trying to communicate a specific message or a specific goal. Um, I really enjoy working in studio. Uh, the room I'm in right now is my office space. This is the room I'm typically shooting my talk to you videos in. Um, but behind me over or behind you rather over there is my like photo area where I set up my scenes, my dioramas, my whatever it is that I'm constructing and building to photograph. So far the things that I've shown on this channel have not been that. And I haven't talked a lot about my conceptual work and that is going to shift and change as I continue to make continue to make content. The thing about conceptual work is it's a slow process. It's not like grabbing my camera, going out into the world, capturing images and sharing them with you. It's something that's built upon moment by moment, piece by piece, day day by day over the course of weeks, months, um, years sometimes depending on the project um, until I get to a place where what I'm creating or what I've created fits that internalized image, my uh, drawn out sketches, until it fits that mold that I've been trying to create. I kind of look at that way of creating somewhere between photography, somewhere between somewhere between photography and painting uh, or sculpture, so to speak. I have these ideas, I construct them, I build them, and then the end life for that particular image it, or for that particular particular artwork or scene is a photograph. Um, so that's how I like to work. Um, I love working with my hands, as I'm sure I've mentioned in previous videos. I love to build things. And I really love talking about art in conceptual ways. I like talking about the intentions behind an artwork. I love talking about what that specific piece is communicating. And I want to do some of that with you. I know that these YouTube videos aren't exactly a dialogue. The comment section opens up possibilities for conversation, but I want to share with you as many of the things that are going on inside my head around my conceptual creation process. Now, I work within the studio and I create my images. Right now, I'm in the process of working on a project that I'm really excited about. I'm hoping for the images that I construct out of this particular um, project that I'm working on for them to become a book. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I'm over the moon. I'm so invested and so passionate with this project. Um, I'm gonna tell you more about it uh, in videos to come. Um, but I'm just, I've been uh, shooting videos as I uh, build out my sets and get everything, um, I guess, to the point where it can be photographed and make its way into what its final form will be. Um, but I'm really excited about that and not all of the conceptual work I do lives inside of a studio space. Some of it exists out in the world as well. I have another project that I'm working on that I'm going to be making a video about soon um, that is conceptual in its nature um, and it's not studio based. But yeah, those are some of the things that I want to do. So the reason I take pictures um, or create art is how I like to think about it. The reason why I like to create, um, I like to create my artistic pieces is because I have things to say, um, and I, I, and this is the best way to say them for me. It's the best way to get. The, get these messages, these thoughts out in the world. It's also a tool for me to help other folks that have things to say as well, to help them get their messages out in the world and have their voices be heard. So 
a part of creating, a part of why do I take pictures, why, um, why do I create artwork is because there are things that I and other folks around me, within my community, outside of my community, um, there's things that need to be said and there are so many different ways to say them but for me this is my method it is my voice photography is my voice so that's why i photograph it's why i capture moments i create images and yeah <laughs> um i so yeah that's i'm not quite i'm not quite sure what else i could say about that specific topic uh, a lot of the things with the conceptual work that i make it's really um mostly i need to show it to you and the other half or the it's like it's like two-thirds i need to show it to you one-third i need to talk to you about it and um, or more so three-fourths I need to show it to you because I want the work to mostly speak for itself mostly communicate the message it wants to communicate itself right so that's why I photograph and the tools that I use um, aren't necessarily important meaning that if I'm shooting it with a 4x5 um, the brand of that 4x5 the D that is inconsequential. If I'm shooting it with a $200 4x5 camera or a $2,000 4x5 camera, that's inconsequential. If I'm shooting it with my a Mumia or a Hasselblad, n that is inconsequential. The tools that I'm using to create the images, that's not important and i know that people say that folks that have the tools are usually the ones to say that the tools are not important and i do admit i have a really lovely collection of tools that i enjoy working with from my mumias to my roll up my rolly flexes um i i do like and i enjoy the tools that i have but what i am saying is that at the end of the day what matters is what you're trying to create and that the tool you're working with fits what you're trying to create so if what i was trying to create would be best made using a 100 something dollar 200 something dollar 35 millimeter camera then that's what matters or if what i'm trying to create uh could best be communicated with a $5 pinhole camera that I made my, myself out of a paint can, then that is the best tool for the job. That's what I mean when I say that the tool isn't important. It just matters what you're trying to create and that you have the right tool to do that communicating, to do that creating, right? So I just wanted to stop in and say hi. I don't want to skip a week and not make a video. Uh, and I'm, as I already mentioned, I'm still waiting for my prints to come back from the photo lab. Uh, I'm assuming that I probably won't get them until... I'm hoping I get them before Tuesday. Uh, I I dropped I dropped everything off at the lab on Friday, so I'm hoping that I get it before Tuesday, so that that content can be next week's video. Um, but we'll see. If not, I'll put together different content for next week. Um, I'm already working on some content just in case I don't get that back in time. Um, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for sitting and chatting or sitting and listening with me. Uh, if you have any thoughts or input on the topics I talked about in this video, by all means, drop a comment below. I would love to engage with you. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me a great deal. Subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell. Um, every bit counts. Uh, my channel is growing slowly but surely to all the new people that have decided to pay attention to what I have to say. I am so grateful for you. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. Until next time, y'all, I am out. Peace.